You take some chocolate and some lobster and some eggs and some pie. What's up, YouTube? It's your old pal Thetagem here to take you to school on how to be a good counselor in F13. We've looked at some good topics so far. Closing doors, using firecrackers effectively, and my favorite, bear traps. And you know what? It's working. Sure, there are still some terrible bear traps out there. People not even knowing that you can pick them up at all, so they're just set in the corner where no one will ever step in it. Also, sometimes they're just randomly in the middle of the floor where everyone will step in it. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Look what happens when you set a bear trap in front of a door without setting it correctly. I walk around this thing like it's not even there. I kill the one person inside immediately, and then hope that Adam hits the trap on the way out. You've got to set these with your left shoulder. I'll put a link to my own video in the description below. But sometimes, you guys, sometimes there's a bear trap that's genius. My friend Your Mommy watched my video on bear traps because he's seen me catch Jason in them a lot and wanted to know how to set them better. And look what he did. Your Mommy, you're a genius. I have never been so happy to step in a bear trap before. I may cry. All right, Theta Gem. Hold it together. Let's talk about today's topic. Shift batting. I first learned about this technique from Pappas. He no longer seems to play this game, but at one point, he had some pretty awesome content, and a few pointers I still use every single match. I'll put a link to his YouTube page in the comments below, but just a word of warning, some of his videos are really out of date. The game has changed a lot since its release, and he hasn't posted about it in years. Also, some of the gameplay you see of him can be considered trolling. He likes to flash his flashlight at Jason, and be a general pain in the ass. That said, he introduced me to a lot of things. Morph traps, shift batting, and my favorite, accepting practice at some technique as a victory, even if it means you know you'll lose the match. And you know what? Shift batting is one of those techniques. You will die a lot practicing this, but your reward is getting the technique down in the end. This is one of the most fun things to do as a counselor. So let's get started. Just what the heck is shift batting anyway? It's a technique used when Jason is shifting on you and you have a stun weapon like a baseball bat. The idea is that you swing your weapon at Jason the moment he comes out of his shift. Even if he's grabbing at you, you'll land the hit if timed properly. Should you get the stun, he falls right on his ass and two things happen. One, you regain stamina for hitting Jason. And two, you have time to get to safety while he shakes off the stun. This is amazing when you're out of stamina and he shifts on you. To be honest, it's really the only move you've got at that point, right? Unless you consider giving up an option, and I don't. Okay, great. Sounds amazing. So why is there more video? I know how to do it now, don't I? Well, not exactly. There's a bit more. The screen gets a static effect when Jason starts a shift, as long as he's close enough to you. And if you use Nerves of Steel like I do, then you always see your minimap no matter what your fear level. This is important, but not completely crucial. You can still try without the minimap, but it would be exponentially harder. The minimap allows you to see which direction Jason is shifting, as well as how fast he's moving for a short period of time. This helps you get your timing down. If his shift is directed at you, you've got just seconds to react, so you've got to be ready. Click in your right thumbstick to go into combat stance. This is very important. Combat stance tracks Jason. This way, your attack will always be towards the intended target. Then, all you have to do is wait for what you feel to be the correct amount of time and swing. Wait, what? That's all you're giving me? You just wait until it feels right? Thanks for the tip, you testicle. I'm done with this video. Well, sorry, but that's how it's done. With enough practice, you can estimate really well. You just have to time your attack to occur a fraction of a second before the static appears for him coming out of his shift. If you press that button during or after the static, you've probably done it too late. And unless Jason misses his grab, you're toast. You've got to be pretty spot on. I still get grabbed a ton 
trying to do this. And sometimes, I don't get the stun either. It's not a perfect technique. It's not something you do every time. It's a move you do in times of desperation, but you should start practicing it right away so you can execute it when you need it. This is an excellent move to try when you know you're going to be grabbed. Say you're out of stamina. He's shifting on you. Maybe you have a pocket knife, maybe not, but why not try the shift bat? If you get the hit and the stun, you get stamina back for it. And you keep your pocket knife. There's no reason not to try this. But you're not out of stamina in all the clips you're posting. I know. I needed footage. Any other questions? Better Jasons will try to trick you into thinking they're shifting on a different counselor to catch you off guard, like this player did. Although I saw it coming, it didn't much matter. Other players will see that you're in combat stance and know what you're trying to do. So they do a circle or two around you to hopefully catch you after you've swung your weapon, and that's what this player must have done. You've got to be ready, and if I'm honest, lucky as well. I was pretty lucky right there. In some situations, your chances of landing a shift bat are higher than others. Be aware of this. If Jason has a super long way to get to you, he's not going to circle around. He's just going to grab. Also, this move is much, much easier on newer players. They haven't put in the Jason rounds to be good at shifting yet, so they exit their shift in a very predictable amount of time. And if you fail to land the move and they grab you anyway, no big deal. You tried. You lost. Good game, Jason. At least you got to practice a fun move. Now, think about what you would do differently so you can learn from it. Accept that as your victory. I also do a variation of this move I call the shift gun. There's no chance in hell I invented this, but I've never seen anyone else do it. If I know Jason is wedge shifting, hoping I run into his grasp, I'm going to blast him in the face with a gun if I have one, because I know exactly where he's going to be the second I see static. This isn't technically the same thing as shift batting because there's no combat stance and, of course, it involves a gun, but it's got the same principle. You shoot him right when he comes out of his shift. This doesn't have to be a wedge shift either. You can shift gun out in the open. I've done it plenty of times. Any variation of this move is amazing to do. Some Jasons are so good, they can do a morph grab. And if you pull off a morph bat, man... That's pretty sweet, and I have actually pulled it off. I couldn't believe it myself. You get a pretty big rush when you land any variation of this move, but that is one that'll probably never happen again. Watch here as Jason shifts on me, and I miss the shift bat. But he misses the grab, so I get another chance at life. And then he morphs on me, and I nail him with a morph bat. Good stuff. The shift bat is great if you want to put Jason in Terminator mode. I'm not suggesting that you try to piss them off or be a toxic player. I'm not suggesting that you should call players trash and say hurtful things. All those toxic people in the lobbies that say stuff like that should really find something better to do, and you need not be among them. But if you frustrate the person playing as Jason because you're beating their ass, there's a decent chance they'll ignore everyone else and focus only on you. This can be a good thing if you're a slippery player, just be aware that if you pull this move off, there's a chance you'll become the only target they care about. The shift bat is far from a perfect technique, but there are some things you can do to better your chances. Did you know that there are two types of attack for counselors in combat stance? There's a light attack and a heavy attack. The heavy attack is an overhand strike that deals more damage. The light attack is a swing like a normal baseball swing. It covers a wider area, and takes longer, giving you more of a shot to land this move. But I find the light attack to be more difficult to do. You have to just barely tap R2 to get the baseball swing. Most of my shift batting is the heavy attack, and it's not on purpose either. My advice to you is to practice this on strangers until you've got it down. Then surprise the hell out of your friends who don't know you've picked up a new tool in your tool belt. If you practice this on your friends all the time, then they know it's coming. Get your technique down, then start using it on your friends. Don't let them get good at defending a move before you get good at it yourself. When practicing, get Jason to chase you. Then, keep him at a similar distance each time and wait for the shift. 
This will help you get your timing down. Then you can try from all sorts of distances and angles, once you have the basic idea. Good luck with your shift batting. I hope you get the opportunity to use it against me someday. Look me up on the PSN, and we'll play a match. If there's a topic you think I could cover to help you out with this game, comment below. I'll definitely do my best with it, or point you to someone else who I think could do it better. Till then, stay safe out there, guys. Cheers, and happy Friday.